Hello guys, so today I'm solving this problem ugly number second part. So uh, what is the ugly number is basically any number which has the if we go to the prime factors of that number they are none other than 2, 3 and 5. There should no other prime factor. Okay, so that number would be an ugly number. For example, you can take an example. 1 is uh, always a ugly number. Then 2 is also an ugly number. 3 is also an ugly number. 4, 5. 6 but 7 is not the ugly number because 7 doesn't have 2, 3 or 5 as a prime factor. Then 8 we have, 9 we have, 10 also but 11 is not a uh, ugly number. 12 and similarly so we have to basically find the uh, here in this question we have to find the nth ugly number. Okay so how we would go for this so let me tell you what is what would be the my my approach would be like with the dynamic programming, I would be solving this problem. So let me explain it with one example. So guys, our approach would be, we would be generate the prime numbers. Okay. So uh, how we would go, let's say we are finding the sixth uh, prime number. Then what we will do, first of all, we will uh, make a array of size six. Okay. So uh, here, what we will do, this will be six plus one. Okay. So then we have to, uh, fill this the value so so see here in the zero location I am just putting zero okay so uh, the first uh, uh, ugly number is always one okay so at uh, index one I am putting one now we have to fill these gaps okay so how would we go so uh, we would have certain variables because we are dealing in the terms of prime of uh, two three and five okay so let's say I am in I am having three variable t2 t3 and t5 okay so initially i am giving the value as one for all of them okay so basically these are the prime uh, means starting from the one we would be keep on increasing okay so initially i am giving value one one and one to all of them okay so see here what we are doing we are starting from i equal to two okay because uh, till here we already done right zero and one we have filled so starting from i equal to 2 till i equal to 6 okay we are traversing with this for loop and what we are doing is we are making the dpi equal to min of dp t2 into 2 okay because we are finding the prime factors of 2 3 and 5 in an increasing way okay so see here t2 t3 t4 t5 all of them are initially 1 1 1 okay so I am getting the minimum of dp t2 into 2 I am see here I am multiplying 2 and see here I am multiplying with 3 and see here I am multiplying with the 5 and whatever multiplication comes we have to get the minimum of that because then only we will get the nth uh, ugly number we should increase from smaller than greater 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 right so for that reason I am doing in this way okay now after doing this so see here what will happen i equal to 2 so our i equal to 2 then dp of 2 what would be dp of 2 here so dp of 2 would be minimum so t2 t3 t4 all, all all of them are uh, 1 initially see here 1 1 1 so this would be 2 okay this value would be 2 and this value would be 3 and this value would be 5 okay so the minimum is 2 so we will put here i would here we will put 2 okay then our i would be coming to here now because we have increased this guy 2 so we will increase 2 okay this 2 t2 plus 1 so this will become now 2 okay so let me write it 2 because we increased this 2 okay so 2 we filled here so now t2 would be come to the next factor that is why i am increasing okay so this is becoming now 2. Now we will go to 3 part, this one. Okay. So again we will find the minimum of f. So see here again we will go. So dp t2. It is 2 only. So 2 into 2. One number is this. Okay. Then what is the next? 3 into dp t3. So what is there at dp t3? t3 is 1 still. Okay. So it is 1 only. So 3 into 1. Okay then we will go to dp t5 so 5 into dp t5 so t5 is still 1 right so at 1 we have only 1 only okay so 5 into 1 okay so what is the minimum here 
3 would be minimum, right? Because this would be 4, this is 3, this is 5. So 3 is the minimum. So we will put 3 here. Okay. Now this time we will increase T3 by 1. So T3 would become again 2. Okay. So we are done till here. Now we will go to this guy. Okay. So for DP4, what would we? So for DP4, we have to again put the same thing. So we have T2 equal to 2, right? So it would be again uh, same thing, right? 2. So 2 into dpt2, which is 2 only. So 2 into dpt2, what is the value? Value is 2 there. So we will put it 2 here. Okay. Now come to this. So it would be dpt3. So uh, this is 2, right? So dp of t2, what it is? dp of t2, it is 2 only. So 3 into 2. Okay. Now come to final one. So what is the T5? T5 is still 1. So 5 into 1. Okay. So this guy also would be 5 into 1 because T5 is still not increased even for a single time. Now what is the minimum here? This is 4. This is 6. This is 5. So 4 would be the next value. So we will put 4 here. Okay. Now what we have increased? We have increased by T2. So we will make T2 equal to 3. Okay. Now come to dp5. Okay. So for dp5 we will calculate again. So we would we have the three numbers. So see here first one is 2 into dp of the t2. So t2 is currently 3. So what is there at 3? It is 3 only. Okay. So we will put 2 into 3. Now come to second guy. So t3 is 2. So 3 into dp of t3. And t3 is 2. So what is there at 2? It, it is 2 only. So 3 into 2. Now come to final guy. T5 is still 1. So we will be same value. 5 into 1. Okay. Now what is the minimum here? This is 6. This is also 6. And this is 5. So this value would be 5. And this time we are increasing this guy. T3 right. So we would be increasing. Uh, sorry T5. So we would be increasing this guy from 1 plus 1. So now this time even T5 is going to value 2. Okay, now we have this final value. So for final value, what it would be? So for final value, it would be again, we will calculate same thing, right? So we would have three numbers. So first, see here, this is three. So two into dp of three. What is the three? So dp of three is three only. Okay, so two into three. Now come to this guy. So t3 is two. So dp of two. So it is 2 only, dp of 2. So 2, 3 into 2. Okay. 3 into 2. Now come to final guy. So this is 5 into dp of 2. Because now this guy also 2. So 5 into what is the 2? At 2 we have 2 only. See here. So we will put 2 here. Now what is the minimum here? 3 into 2, 6. This also 6. But this is 10. So our this value would be 6. And so finally what we will do, our last value would be the, so we can return now dp of n. Okay, so this would be our answer. So this would be my approach. Let me show you what, what which is the, my code. So see here, so same code is there. First of all, I am declaring t2, t3 and t5 as uh, 1 only. And initially I filled dp of i 1 equal to 1. Now see here I have created n plus 1 size because 0 is not our concern. So we have to have the 1 to n size. So that is why I have put it n plus 1. Okay. Now see here I am starting from i equal to 2. And this is my point where I was calculating dp of i. So which is the minimum of math dot min of all these three values. Right? dp t2 into 2, dp t3 into 3 and dp t5 into 5. We know that 2, 3 and 5 are our prime factors for ugly numbers. So after updating this value, we are checking because we were increasing, right? We were increasing the value the way which I was increasing here. So for the same reason what I am doing here, if the uh, value picked from the t2, then we will increasing the t2 plus plus. If the value is picked from t3, we are increasing t3 plus plus. And similarly for the t5. So finally, we are coming out of it and this would be our answer. So let me execute my code. So I am executing my code. Yeah, so let me try to submit it. Oh, 
from do I need to press it again yeah it's accepted so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you